Welcome to our Tracking Your Spending video. Hello, I am Lori at First Commonwealth Bank, where it is our mission to improve the financial lives of our neighbors and their businesses. Today, we are going to discuss why it is important to track your spending. Knowing how much money you have coming in and how much you are spending is an important part of having a budget. It is also key to meeting financial goals like saving or paying down debt. Oftentimes, people would like to save more or pay extra on a credit card balance, but they feel like they don't know where to find the money to do that. Getting an accurate handle on how much you are actually spending is a great first step to help you figure out where to find the money to meet your goals. In this video, we are going to discuss why it is important to track your spending and how to do it. It is hard for most people to accurately estimate how much they spend over the course of a month if they don't have a system in place to track their transactions. We tend to forget exactly what we buy or how much it costs, especially if we try to remember what we did a few days or weeks ago. Without accurate information on how much we are actually spending, it is hard to decide what to change. For example, you would like to spend less on eating out, so you have more money available to save. If you base your budget only on how much you think you are spending and not accurate amounts, your budget won't be of much use to help you meet your financial goals. The good news is that tracking your spending does not have to be complicated or time consuming. A quick way to get started is to pick one or two things to track. Choose something that you frequently spend money on and something where you can control how much you spend. Examples include tracking how much you spend on eating out, at the grocery store, or any fun spending like buying coffee or soda, lottery tickets, or going to the movies. Commit to tracking your spending in one or two categories for at least two weeks. Of course, the longer you track your spending, the more data you will have to work with, but you can learn a lot from tracking your spending for even just a few weeks. Next, think about how you usually pay for the spending category you will track. If you pay cash, you will need to track your spending manually. This can be as simple as keeping your receipts in a secure spot and adding them up at the end of two weeks. You can also take a picture of your receipt and scroll back through your pictures to identify them when it is time to calculate how much you have spent. If you prefer not to get receipts, you can use your phone's note app to keep track of the amount you are spending. If you usually pay by debit card, credit card, or mobile wallet, your bank's app makes it very simple for you to track your spending. Most banks' apps, including First Commonwealth's, automatically categorize or tag your spending after you set it up in the app. This means that usually, if you swipe your debit card or credit card at a grocery store, the app will tag it as grocery spending. This automatic tagging is a great start, but it is important to spend a little time to make sure your app is tagging spending accurately. A good example is stopping for some snacks at a gas station. If you use your debit card for the snacks, your app might tag that as a gas purchase. You can manually make changes to how expenses are getting tagged. Again, you do not have to scrutinize every transaction you've ever made. Just make sure the category you are interested in tracking gets tagged correctly. Once you are sure your tags are right, it is simply a matter of opening your app to see how much you are spending in that category. Your bank's app might also have a feature where you can set spending limits or budgets for the categories you are tracking. For example, in the First Commonwealth app, you can set a limit for how much you want to spend at a grocery store. You can then set it up to get alert emails or texts if you are getting close to exceeding that limit. Once you have your system of tracking down, 
it will be easy to start tracking additional spending categories. The more you track your spending, the easier it will be to see where you can make adjustments and cut back if necessary. Once you track your spending for a while, you might be surprised at how quickly all those expenses add up. That knowledge will be very helpful to help you reevaluate your spending. Knowing exactly how much you are spending on convenience or fun items might inspire you to cut back on some of those expenses and allocate the money you save to meet your savings or debt payoff goals. It will also be instrumental in helping you create an accurate and useful budget you can live with. Be sure to check out our Create a Budget video for tips to get started. Thank you so much for joining us today. To give us feedback on this video and be entered to win a great prize, please take a quick survey by scanning the QR code or visiting the site listed on the screen.